Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kitty Mary and uh, this is the annual Christmas vlog. It changes every year sort of what I want to show you guys, what I'm talking about and also what I'm doing. And this year I'll be celebrating Christmas with my family in my house, but I have a couple of errands to run before Christmas. So let's just get started on that. Let's go. I have had such a tough time getting into the Christmas spirit of it all. I just, I want to do everything else but Christmas, which is annoying. I really want to relax and be cozy. Today I'm visiting my good friend Vanya and we're gonna bake some Christmas cookies. I'm excited, mostly about the eating part, but also the baking part. Anyway, it's still winter wonderland out here. Check this out. This is the view from my bedroom window. What? So, uh, how do you think this is going? Um, these are ugly. They're so quaint. <laughs> They're quaint. indeed quite quaint. They're definitely homemade. So I'm lying on my couch and uh, eating the biscuits Vanya and I we made the other day, watching other Grinch. Perfect. Yes, this is a huge jar for one person. I am so excited. They're so good. My health is deteriorating fast. This is the light in the videos throughout the rest of the holidays. It's so dark, which is so frustrating because the last two days we had this amazing, glorious, crispy, cold, blue sky weather, perfect for filming. And I was in my sweats just being sick. Now that I'm kind of ready to film, it's so dark outside. I like I, the audacity of this lighting. But today I'm meeting up with my friend Colbrun and we're gonna go thrifting. Usually when I do gifts during the holidays, I will usually get people either something that's homemade, I give them something that's thrifted, or I give them eco swaps. And this year I'm gonna do eco swaps and thrifted things because I just haven't had time to create something out of thin air, sadly, um, which I otherwise definitely love to do. So we're meeting up and we're gonna go thrifting and we're having lunch together. I'm so excited about that. I got a little bit into the Christmas spirit with the, um, with the Christmas biscuits and watching the Grinch the other day. They're super nice. However, my home does not in any way, shape or form reflect that it's the holidays. I brought up my little Christmas tree, the one that I think I got three years ago. And right now the only decoration on this tree is a croissant ornament and a little doll of Charles Darwin, which I'm honestly not mad at. I think that's perfect. I think we should shush the tree up just a tiny bit. And then I need to wrap some gifts that I also want to show you guys. So I want to show you what I'm giving my family as well as how I wrap the gifts sustainably. So let's do this. Okay, one, two, three, four, Christmas, woo! I will also be hosting my family's Christmas this year in the house. I have so much space here, so might as well do that. Anyway, this is the current situation with the tree. Here we have the tree, we have the little Darwin and the croissant. Okay, so I guess we're just starting completely from scratch. I found this tree in a thrift shop a couple of years ago and I love it. I actually have an entire video, by the way, about whether or not like fake trees, plastic trees or natural trees are the best for the environment. Spoiler alert. Depends, but I have a whole video analysis about how to find the most sustainable tree. I'll leave that down below. But if you're wondering sort of, well, how do you go about like sustainable Christmas ornaments and general decor? I'll just go over where I got my different ornaments from. I think these small ones are, are from a thrift store, which is a gold mine during the holidays. In Danish secondhand shops, at least, there are so many types of Christmas decor. They will throw it after you a little bit. So you don't really need to go out and buy new ever because it's just so available 
at least where I live and every place I've gone to, it's been super available during the holidays. Um, I do have a couple of things that I didn't buy secondhand. For instance, these um, small, like definitely DIY stars. This is not something I would usually go for because it's a type of paper that's unrecyclable because it's coated in plastic and glitter. But I picked these up from a tree that I just saw lying in the street, still decorated and everything. So I took these out. They weren't wasted. I think that's like five years ago or something. Um, is it stealing? No. It's these. My favorite ornaments are these small glass drops. They're definitely from a chandelier. I bought them secondhand and they were already removed from the chandelier. But it's very clear to me that these are just like small chandelier crystals. And I think they look like ice drops and I think they're so nice. A lot, and this is just like maybe a hot take of mine, but I don't like the look of a lot of Christmas decor. I'm very particular, at least when it comes to my Christmas decor. So I love the way these uh, crystals look on my tree and you can use them for anything really. I definitely love that. So we're going all out. We're gonna put Darwin up again as well. Uh, where we're gonna put him? He can go over here maybe. Darwin! Am I putting up a scientist on my Christmas tree just to be annoying? Yes. Uh, I think this little tin angel, I think I got this with a gift that was wrapped a couple of years ago. So I just took off the angel, no need to waste her. And now we're sort of reusing her as Christmas decor. I have one thing that I bought from New on purpose. It's this ceramic star. I got this in a little ceramic studio um, and I do like supporting local artists and I think the little face is adorable. But for the most part, it's just gonna be chandelier crystals all day long sun. Honestly, not gonna lie, putting on the Christmas decor does put me in a little bit of a mood. If nothing else, just satisfying, sort of like a little mental health exercise. Let's wrap some gifts. So the first gift is a gift for my mom. It's actually something that I got from a real store and not something that's thrifted. It is a little ceramic soap holder that I got from the only bulk store left in Aarhus. Uh, oh. Every bulk store in Denmark has closed down except for two. So I've bought the like round one of Christmas presents I've bought in that shop because I wanted to support them. I think it's really important that we do. So they survive when it's this difficult to own a business right now, which it, it really, really is. So I got my family something and then now that we're gonna go thrifting, me and my friend, I might find them something that's thrifted as well. So we have two things. I want to do something nice for my mom. And I think for her other gift, I sort of have planned, uh, I've sort of planned to give her like a stay at a hotel where we can just vibe and chill. I'm wrapping it in this fabric. I've had it for a long time. Uh, and I think I've wrapped several gifts in this, also gifts that you have seen. Placing the little gift, we're gonna turn her over. Uh, now, I've never been like someone who's good at wrapping presents. It got a lot better when I started wrapping gifts in reusables because it does just, it just looks more put together, it just looks nicer. Then I like to add just natural elements to the gifts. So we're placing a big pine cone. This is too big. We're placing a slightly smaller pine cone into the ribbon. I am going low effort and also low waste. So I recently got a parcel in the mail, so I have just tons of cardboard for wrapping. I'm so just gonna tear some of it up and definitely leave like some of these like really rugged edges on it. Just gonna stick it into the gift and then that's the card. And that is gift number one. Gift number two is just gonna be a little bit more noisy. This is actually not reusable paper. This is just brown paper that I've reused over and over again. Anyway, whenever I get a gift in something that's not reusable, I'll unwrap my gift really carefully and just save the paper and use that all over again as well. And this gift is for my grandmother and it's a book with pictures of us throughout the year. In my opinion, it's super easy to learn how to wrap gifts without using tape um, and simply just using the ribbons instead. You can sort of use the gift's own weight to sort of weigh the paper down while you wrap it. Um, but tape is not necessary. And this is my grandmother's gift. So for my father's first gift, he's getting these silicone lids for bowls and plates. 
because he often uses cling foil and aluminium film and he often tells me that it's so annoying to use these things and he really wants to use more like alternatives and he often stacks like plates on top of each other instead and I think this is going to be a really nice thing for him to use instead. I think he's really gonna like this. It's a very practical gift but he often gives me practical things as well so I am pretty sure that this is just going to um, make him really happy. So when I give gifts, I usually let people get the wrapping as well. So if they want to start wrapping things in reusable materials, they can use the wrapping they already got. But I also tell them if you don't want to use it again, that no bother whatsoever. I would love to use it again, so I'll just take it with me home again. And just it's it doesn't have to be like a long, awkward conversation, simply just a, oh, and if you want to, please reuse the wrapping. But if you don't want to, I'll bring the wrapping back home, no problem. And I've never gotten any bad feedback and negative remarks or comments, anything like that. For the most part, people just think it's really handy. So get out there, start reusing gift wrapping. <laughs> and here we have my father's present. I'm giving my brother a thermos for his food. And we're just gonna wrap it in a bulk bag that he can also use for other things. And those were my presents. So um, let's go thrifting. Christmas decor. Hold it. One of the things that I found yesterday was this office chair. I think office chairs are often really not great looking. This is quite nice and I paid five quid for it. The old chair of course is not gone. One second, one second, one second. I just uh, put it into my bedroom for a while. I'm not completely sure what I want to use it for in here but I really like the office chair. I also found another pan. I need one like this. Um, and this is really good quality. It's super, super heavy. And I paid six quid for this. I didn't find anything for my family for Christmas, but today I am leaving. I'll be spending three days in Copenhagen and I'll be scouring through the thrift shops right before Christmas. And hopefully I'll find something there. I just wrapped an extra gift. This I'll bring with me to Copenhagen. It's a little Christmas present slash birthday gift for my cousin. And it is a 100 year old copy of the memoirs of Sherlock Holmes. I hope you'll like it. Today I'm also trying to find a friend that can drive me to do my Christmas shopping because yesterday I slipped on the ice um, because it's super super slippery outside it's sort of like that weather where the ice is melting but then it's freezing again but then it's melting then it's freezing so with my bike I just fell and it was great so now I'm a little bit sore today and I don't want to get back up on the bike so I'll see if I can find someone to drive me to do my Christmas shopping that's just all of the big the big task of the day. I've already made a video showing what I do for Christmas. I make a vegan Christmas feast for my family and they love it. I've done that for the past four years. They're pretty patient people, my family. Um, and I, I already have a video if you guys want to get the recipes and see what to do and how to do it and how to sort of substitute different ingredients to make your holiday meal more sustainable. Anyway, and that was it for my Christmas vlog. I hope that you guys liked it. If you did, leave me a thumbs up or a comment. Tell me what you guys are doing for Christmas. And I wish you guys happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and just good vibes overall. And I will see you guys next time. Take really good care of yourselves. Until then, bye. Thank you so much for watching this video and also a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys help me create green zero waste contents and I love you guys. You can find the links to my social media accounts down below and the link to my Patreon on this screen. Bye!